After a month of bombing Gaza, Israeli officials say they've achieved most of their objectives. One wonders if those include shelling hospitals and UN schools. These actions that the UN has called violations of humanitarian law have led those on Twitter to take up the hashtag BDS. BDS is short for Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions. It's a movement to get individuals and institutions to withdraw their money and support from Israel. The goal being to pressure Israel to end its illegal occupation, settlement building, and attacks on Palestinians. IBN Kafka tweeted, I pledge that I will never knowingly buy Israeli goods until Israel complies with international law and recognizes Palestinian rights. Hashtag BDS. That means boycotting companies linked to Israel's occupation of Palestinian land, like the ones Nancy Castleman lists in her tweet. Join BDS. Don't buy from McDonald's, Victoria's Secret, HP, SodaStream, Estee Lauder, Sabra Hummus, Motorola, Sara Lee, L'Oreal. So much for that french fry hummus and cheesecake makeover pajama party you were printing flyers for, huh? Sammy tweeted, more bad news. McDonald's is high on the BDS list. My extended family nor I will be, quote, loving it anymore. Garnier, a cosmetics company owned by L'Oreal, recently sent care packages to the Israeli military, causing Twitter user Scanner to tweet, boycott Garnier, because genocide is never pretty. But it isn't just individuals taking action, it's individuals with money. The Soros fund management of billionaire investor George Soros recently sold $24.3 million in shares of SodaStream, a company with a factory that operates in the occupied West Bank. Zakaria Desai tweeted, Soros fund dropped shares in Israel's SodaStream. BDS beginning to bite. Of course, the killing of civilians didn't shake SodaStream spokeswoman ScarJo's resolve to stand by her brand. Back in January, she quit Oxfam for it. What are you gonna do? Some people just love bubbly water more than human rights. The BDS movement is also being taken on by institutions. Banks like Nordea of Norway, pension funds like PGGM of the Netherlands, trade unions like Unite in the UK and Ireland, and religious institutions like the Presbyterian Church USA have all divested. Presbyterians voted in June to divest from Hewlett Packard, Motorola, and Caterpillar, companies whose products are used by the Israeli military in their weaponry, at checkpoints, and in building settlements. But not everyone approves of BDS. They even have a counter hashtag, BDS fail. The Jackal tweets, boycott Israel? Ha 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 ha, you can't, you never can. How about tossing away your precious phones, notebooks, and gadgets first? So what do you think? Are you down with BDS? <laughs>